Hey folks, Jake Von Slot here. This is the current state of my monitor. As you can see, it's got an issue. I rescued this monitor from uh, a dumpster and I found that I could fix it by putting a C-clamp on it and tightening it down, but over time it's deteriorated and uh, the C-clamp no longer does the job of repairing the monitor. So, it's time to disassemble it and see if we can figure out what's going on inside. I know I had this apart before, but I don't see any screws. I think I just pried it apart. All right, so again, the issue was somewhere here. This is where I squeezed it with the clamp to get it to work. Hmm. Well, I can't see any problems, so I think we're going to have to fire it up and poke at it. Okay, this should give us uh, access, and uh, I've put a mirror here so you can see that we still have the same issue. Now. Oh, that's promising. Oh. Oh, wait. We went into power save mode. Okay, so... Definitely some things happen if we, if we move that board around. Ah! Okay. It looks to me like this issue is associated with this connector. Okay, so you can see the bad part. Now when I lift up, I'll turn on the menu and when I lift up on this ribbon cable 
And you went away. Okay, there we go. There. See, lifting up on that ribbon cable seems to fix the issue. Okay, so what I'm doing when I fix the image is I'm simply lifting up on this ribbon cable. So I suspect that there's some problem along here. So I'm going to pull this out and reseed it and see if that makes any changes. So the big question is how do these connectors work? How do I pull that out safely and then reseed it? Okay, it took me a little while to figure it out, but they open like this. Just get your fingernail under, under there and they open right up. See right along here there's a little indentation where contact was made. And over here there isn't. Now on the other side there's a little indentation all the way down. So that would seem to be where the issue is. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a thin strip of Kynark tape right across the back here in the hopes that that'll press it down a little further. Okay, so hopefully that little piece of tape tighten up that connector so that we make good contact. I think I've got it. Okay. Let's plug it in just to make sure. All right. Yes, there we go. Success. This is Jake Von Slat. See you next time.